<laughs> you guys see this narrow road? So now we've come to Sara's aunt's house. What? Or Sara's grandma or Sara's aunt? Mm. Sara's aunt. That's my uh, yeah. papa's wife. Oh, okay. okay. The one that just brought us in. Oh, okay. Here. So your grandma? Yeah, my grandma. Okay, yeah. It is over, over maybe 100 years? No way. At least over 60, 70 years old. This used to be a, a hotbed, by, apparently. <laughs> no, 70 years old now. Wow. Minimum 80 years. Minimum. 80 years yeah. old. Wow. He said husband and wife used to sleep on this together. <laughs> this little twin size bed. I mean, it has some good bounce, though. For it being like metal, it's not as uncomfortable as I thought. Oh, I don't know. What's that? Oh, you, your mom put it. Maybe. I need a guy. It's being friendly now. No. No, I mean. Oh. Oh yeah. Hey. Manta, Raha. Manta. Farhi. Mikhanhi. I know, Kara looks like him. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. It's just so gorgeous here. I have a friend here too. Hamad? Oh, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Badka. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Huh? No, that was him. <laughs> It's so beautiful here. So this, if you guys remember Sija, this is her dad's brother's house. All of them kind of live around each other. We're just like going from house to house and visiting all of the <laughs> the ahli we call them. So like the the family members, friends, all of that. But yeah, it's really cool. We stopped for some sambusa <laughs> on the side of the street. Okay. Yeah. Nice, right? Hey, hi. Oh, so you guys know I never drink coffee usually, but I will always make an exception for Ethiopian coffee. Bunna. Or bun, we call it bun. But my cousin Bakada made it. <laughs> and it is so good. I'm actually having it completely black too, which for me not even being a coffee drinker is a big deal, but it's so good. It's like not bitter at all. Mm-hmm. This is like but smooth. I like it's very nice though. Just packing it, but it's okay. So good. Fizbit Emma. Fizbit Emma. My brother's under there taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> My aunt made me put the blanket over him because she thought he was uncomfortable. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> We're headed to yet another person's home right now. I'm walking towards it. Literally the entire city is just like these mud or cement homes and just like narrow paths with a bunch of rock. <laughs> My mom is kind of struggling going down this right now. You okay? This is this is a place where they call it uh, Haradabli. What does that mean? Haradabli means like square. Square, like you see uh, uh, this way and that way. 
Intersection. Yeah, intersection. Yes. Where are we going? Here. Ah, okay. Huh? Got some street badge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna open this. <laughs> so my mom said there's the oh, the saints graves right over here under the mesquid they have like hun over hundred hundreds, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. They have hundreds of <laughs> saints buried everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> You wanna say hi? Salam balu. Salam balu. Min tilah. Eh? Min Ah. Min. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bye. It is time to feed the hyenas. There is this tradition that you can do in Harar. It's like a tourist attraction where they basically domesticated some of the hyenas to like stop attacking the civilians like years and years ago but now there's like a site where you can actually feed them and like use a stick and feed them meat and stuff and there's like a bunch of hyenas so we're gonna go do that i did it when i was nine years old a long time ago so i feel like i'm brave enough to do it again but we shall see They're with each other. The share cut is Mine doesn't look that nice. <laughs> they added more. Ah, Bismillah, let them pour. Bismillah. Eyes glowing. My <laughs> Look at the hyenas. There's so many. Oh my god. Take him a look. Take him a No. Man, I'm a cake. Me. Man. Me. So we're here at the hyena area. Can you guys see them? <laughs> oh my god. Look at them. Mille. No, no. Abi? Okay. Hello? <laughs> okay. There's one right behind you, Daddy. Yes. Hello, 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 Daddy. Budget. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, Daddy! Oh! 
Will you go after? You okay, that. if you go, I'll go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it's Chiku. It's Chiku. It's Chiku. I love it. It's hugging you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 Yes. Yeah. This is what I say. I say. Hey. Pull your hijab forward. Yes. Thank you, Thank Yes. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Anyways, sorry, I got distracted, but I that was terrifying, but also really cool to experience. You can see, still see the hyenas behind us, but they're not really doing anything. They're just kind of chilling, maybe plotting. I don't know, but it's really interesting. Look at that one just staring. <laughs> Okay. Good morning everybody. It is like 7 a.m. in the morning. I've been up since like 5 a.m. because um, there's like over 70 or 80 mosques in Harar and Harar is a very small city so <laughs> during like the call to prayer like it is so loud because every single mosque is doing Adhan like at the same time um, so yeah I've been up pretty early um, <laughs> sounds like my dad just woke up um, but yeah I've just been kind of like chilling on my phone and it's been so funny because well I posted the video of um, me feeding the hyenas yesterday on Instagram and I woke up to probably like over a hundred DMs actually a lot there was, there was like over 500 shares on that one story, which never happens. And yeah, it's just like explaining to people, I'm like, don't worry, I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. I do look kind of crazy. I have like my bonnet and then my scarf just kind of thrown over, but um, I don't know if I explained it, but Harar has a really interesting relationship with the hyenas in the surrounding area. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, well, actually, I don't know how many hundreds of years ago, but a long time ago. They realized that the hyenas were like attacking civilians and killing all the livestock in order to get the food like they'd come into the city. So they started actually feeding the hyenas like all the meat scraps um, so that they would stop attacking people. And then it kind of created this like symbiotic relationship where like the hyenas have a respect for the people because they feed them. And in return, they don't attack the civilians or the livestock. Like there was literally like dogs playing with the hyenas um last night um but yeah that's kind of the story of it if you want to read more about it you can just search like hyenas and harar and you know there's plenty of videos and stories that you can look at but um i can assure you that well i don't i can't assure you that it was safe <laughs> i'm sure there's much more things that are safer but i wasn't gonna die so that's a good thing well inshallah yeah today i'm not really sure what we're doing i think we might go to the museum um and stuff but yeah, I will of course share that all with you, but I'm gonna go get ready for the day. <laughs> I'll just brush my teeth and wash my face. This is the sink that I'm using. They actually just built this in recently. Before, I don't think there even was a sink, so that is very convenient. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bakala, Bakala is a clean freak. <laughs> so she sweeps the entire place with this broom. <laughs> Mashallah. You know this works better than the other one? Does it? How? I don't know. 
Like, I don't know, it just feels like all the dust. Real, yeah, well, yeah, it's like not dusty at all. You know, I noticed that after we visited other people's, I was yeah. like, okay, this place is spotless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get ready for the day, and then we're gonna eat breakfast, huh? Well, let's show me something. What is it? Hmm? When you need something very bloody. Oh, like a spice? Min kamadinta. Wow. You see that? Mmm. Okay. Let's go check up on Amir. I think he's sleeping. Up here. Are you sleeping or watching a video? <laughs> Mm, wow, you guys had a comfortable place to sleep, huh? Have you felt the bed downstairs? It's a rock, okay? The bed is a rock. I literally felt like my arm was being amputated last night because I was sleeping on one side for so long. By the time I went to change, like it literally felt like like there was no blood in here. Like it was just a piece of like I literally used my other arm mm -hmm. to pick up my arm <laughs> and stretch it. Yeah. I used to sleep right in that corner and I put a blanket over my face because all the flies used to get into my ears. Come down. I'm coming. God. This is terrifying. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> We're making breakfast. This is what everything looks like. There usually is a, um, someone who helps to make everything but she's not here right now. So, we're doing it ourselves. I don't know where anything is, so I'm just gonna stay in here. Oh, there she is. Sorry. <laughs> what? Y'all ever have to wash your eggs? <laughs> There's no electricity right now, <laughs> just randomly shut off. And usually it comes back within like 10 minutes, but it hasn't been on since, so we are just cooking on the gas. It's taking a little bit longer, but I'm just sunbathing right now, enjoying the weather until it gets like blazing hot. The weather kind of reminds me of LA here. Like it's um, it's like super warm and hot and sunny during the day, but then at night it's actually pretty cold. Like you could use a coat, not a coat, like a jacket or something. And same in the morning, but my skin has been thriving out here. I'm so happy. <laughs> Wait, yes. apparently this is how you control yeah, the heat. <laughs> that's wait, that's like low? This then is high. This is high? Yeah. And then when you push it it's yeah, medium. And then, and then oh, low. Oh, oh, because of the oxygen oh, and yeah. stuff. That's so crazy. Uh, so I guess we're not gonna finish it. Do you guys think mm. please? Finally leaving. We have Sada's back here. She's staying at her um, her aunt's house last night. But this is what I'm wearing. I have my purse tied in front of me because it's just easier to get things in and out. Um, right now we're headed to the Haredi Cultural Center, like the um, museum, to like see all the artifacts and stuff. So I'll share that when we get there. I know, it is so hot. Whew. Ah. I'm like squinting everywhere. I know, it's so bright. Now everybody will get order like 
change this to white color. Why? Huh? I love the colors. Ah, uh, they say they want to make it like. Do you see this one? This is blue. They want to make it uniform, the whole city. Why? Yeah, uh, it used to be like that, like long time ago. Oh. And ancient time. Oh yeah. Especially in white? Ramadan time, in all house, every corner is like white. white. Oh. Okay. Even inside the house, mm. used to be white. It looks so nice. Ah, do you want to make it like that? Mm. Uh, what yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> they're saying the exact opposite of what I was saying. So I was like, I love all the colors, it's so pretty. But they're saying that they want to change all the walls to this color, like white, to keep it all uniform. Because in the olden times, like historically, everything was white, including on the inside, and then slowly they started adding color. But I feel like I really like the colors, like it makes it look so cute and unique. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Hala, he Amir Nadavanta. Okay. Amir wa Garzal de Kibala. Hana. This is a 400 year old bed right here. This 400. Do you guys see? It's literally like a wooden bed. So cool. And then here they say is where the the newlyweds stay, <laughs> and they put <laughs> they put the ketal to let people know not to pass because there's no doors. <laughs> so these are for like small like like inside house shoes type things, and then this is like actual sneakers or yeah sandals. <laughs> Yeah, this is like the original. The original. Hey. Okay. Okay. So this like is like kids and stuff will wear, and then this is Bombay. This is like the traditional type. This as well. All of these are like traditional textiles. I brought that dinner here. Oh. These are like the original currency of Harar. They're very small. <laughs> oh, yeah. distance over there it's gonna be kind of hard to show but it's called diaspora town where a lot of people had any people bought homes there or like built homes there but unfortunately there's some people that are like causing unrest and not allowing them to actually like get into their homes um, so it's kind of just abandoned which is really unfortunate considering you know it's historically our city but that's Ethiopia for you. Thing going on, but the view is very nice. They're doing some like things in there or something. Some things. I can't even talk. Oh my god. Let me change my battery and then I'll be back. It's called the Juma Mesquite Friday Mosque. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Translated. And it's the first mosque that was built in Harar, right? Yeah. It's, it's not Rambo. Huh? Oh, I saw his photo on a one. Who is this white man that claims to have discovered how to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the colonizers. Yeah. He, he never like colonized boy. this though. Oh, yeah, sure. You guys want to see Rambo house too? Sure. Where are we at? Rambo and uh, <laughs> uh, oh. this is the white man's center. <laughs> Arthur Rambo. Rambo. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is nice. 
So we've been going around to different cultural centers. Do you want to explain what this is, Daddy? This is Rambo House. Rambo House. Yeah. So some yeah. white man. Yeah, the white, the French, French guy. <laughs> this French guy that came. But, but this place is built by Indian. Uh, oh. Indian guy. Indians? Yeah, Indian, like uh, gay so like Indians? Trader. So an Indian trader came through here and then Rambo used to live in here. An Indian person made this. Oh, really? Cool. And then he just rented it. Okay. Yeah. This is cool. Oh, it has more. You would never think that this is in the middle of the city. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. So this white man is the only person who had a camera in the whole city. So these are from the 1800s. This is Makonen, 1895. Oh, this used to be a mosque. Now they took it over and they made it a church. This is like a wedding. You could see the horse and like the Eruzach, the bride and groom, or maybe just the bride. All her girls over here and then all the guys over here. The guy used to stay here, Arthur Rimbaud, and he was a photographer and a writer, but he used to document everything. So he used to take a bunch of photos and write about the history here and stuff, and he really loved it. Um, and it's really cool to see. This is Got some. This is the upper part, Islamic religion. The real good. <laughs> She's shy now. Uh oh. <laughs> So this over here is like the main like marketplace. So they sell like fruits and veggies and potatoes and garlic, all of that. Just kind of like on the side of the street. There's obviously Bajaj coming on and through here. Goats eating the leftover food. Ah. Where are they coming from? Who? The goats. I don't know. <laughs> we got some lunch now. We have Hanid. Rice. Rice. Ipsy. Ipsy. Halibat <laughs> marach. Wow. You got all of that for us, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't. Yeah, that's a lot, Daddy. That's enough. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. You did. So over here is the walls of the city. So I think I've mentioned before that Harar Harar is like a walled city. Well, in the past, it was all walled. There were five gates. And that was the main one to keep all the Haredi people inside and everyone else on the outside. And they used to lock and everything, but now they're kind of open. So transportation, import, exports, all of that can get in. But yeah, this is it. What's this? A house? Cemetery? Is it park? Park. Oh. That's the wall over there. Not this one, but the one up there. No. So we're just headed on a little history tour of the country of the city. And my dad's just telling us what's going on. But yours? What is my face? Oh, you wanna show your face? You're driving, right? Yeah! Careful! Look forward. I am not! <laughs> this is another gate for the wall, a sumbari, where they used to sell spices and everything. You can see the other side of it over here. They own but it? Nobody is a small person. Oh. I just brought it to the almost to the hey. Everyone's just like standing and watching us. Mega? 
Hacer ver. Yeah, this is uh, diaspora. Uh, they call it diaspora area. Uh, most of the people came from there outside of uh, the country, and they built they built these houses. Yeah. These houses, well, yeah, this but is, no, they can't go inside. Yeah, they can't go inside because of some politics, uh, like Oromo thing. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the houses they have their own like cultural Harari houses inside and they build by uh, what do you call it by diasporas but still not occupied. How many years did it take to build this it? It's huge. No, it is huge. Just it is like it's already built it like five years ago. Um, but no one stay in there. It's mm -hmm. empty. It's still abandoned. empty, abandoned. Wow. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like a neighborhood. You can't go inside? No, uh, this is also this one also the biggest uh, soccer stadium. But they didn't finish. Yeah, they didn't finish. Right. Final breakfast in Harar. Full <laughs> eggs. Sukarbara. <laughs> or what is it called? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 And double. Oh, show the traditional Ethiopian double. It's Ethiopian double. There's this kind. You bought it fresh this morning? Yeah. Mm-hmm. My dad's older sisters. <laughs> okay. Bye, Makala. Okay, we're going back to Dere Doa. Salamat. 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 Amin. <laughs> On route back to Diredua, going through Dangago, and it is the most terrifying route ever because it is just like a windy road all the way down the mountains, and apparently, many people have died by their cars going over the mountain and um, yeah it's kind of creepy it's too late it's the last it's the last supper in <laughs> in Derezawa but I forgot to film because I was too hungry that's usually what happens mm -hmm. at this can I have one why you still on cat is wanting to get all the food hey Ramir Leaving Diredua, we just said bye to our family and we are finally going to Addis. I'm excited. I haven't, I don't really remember what it looks like at all, but hopefully it's a good time. I have about, oh, I hate the lighting in this video, but I have about a week left in Ethiopia. I feel like it's going by fast and slow at the same time, which is weird to say, but. Uh, 